And he has his hair back. <laughs> Order in the court, I say. Your Honor, a, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright, Your Honor, you claim the sound witness the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is writing on this. I better think it through carefully. Yes, Your Honor. The sound Mr. Saw heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply... Ask the neighbors. <laughs> yeah. Let's sound the clock now, here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? No. I will ask the court to listen to to listen very carefully. I think it's 825. <laughs> that certainly is a strange way to announce the Yo, time. I think it's 825. <laughs> holla holla, good dog, give me three pity. <laughs> three pity. Well, he is the thinker, after all. Black Jesus is shit. <laughs> So we've heard. So we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Roy? What? <laughs> Mr. Payne, can you tell me like what time it is now? <laughs> it's okay, I guess. It's 11:25. Yeah. Hey. As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Sawit heard and the actual time of death. Fire. So, Mr. Sawit, try to talk your way out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot one thing! Oh, what's he talking about? While it may seem like that clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing! How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? You can't prove that you don't have a case! He's right. How am I going to prove that? <laughs> he took it to France. Damn it, I was, Wait, I was so close. Don't Mr. spoil Roy. me! It seems you lack critical evidence to support your claim. No, no. Yes, Your Honor. No, no. This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Unfortunately. No. This ends the cross-examination of Mr. Frank saw it. I... Oh. <laughs> Wrong guy! <laughs> Oops. I come all the way down here to testify and look what happens! They treat me like a criminal! A criminal! A criminal? <laughs> you lawyers are all slime! Grr, I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. Sorry, Harry. There's nothing I can do about it now. Not so fast, Mr. Sawyer. Yeah, I mean, Chief. Listen up, right? You don't throw in the, this one away. Not like this. Think. But Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow on the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time down in the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out, figure out the reason you'll have your proof. Right, right. Can you think of a reason why the clock was three, would be three hours slow? Yes. No. Obviously. Wait, maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright, you say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course. There's a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. <laughs> in tough words! Let's see if you can pull this one up! Jump that wall if you're so great! <laughs> Let's see the evidence support proves- oh gosh, <laughs> I just remember you had a really high pitched voice. I think I might just return home from abroad the day, day before the murder. Issues. As we all know, the time of difference between here and Paris is 9 hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't 3 hours slow, it was 9 hours fast. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard the when, the when you struck the her dead in her apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Saw It, or should I say, Mr. Did It? Dead. Hey. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> order, order, I say. Oh. He no longer exists. He, he went to another plane. Well, this case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. <laughs> another plane? A new Mr. immortal Pine. plane? Is Mr. But, Payne, your client? Uh, he sent him to another dimension! Also that. Oh. He, uh, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Another dimension! 
Very well. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly. I'd find the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> it's not like we're this point, <laughs> this is only a formality, but this court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts, guilty! <laughs> yeah. yeah, all guilty, 100%. Oh, hey, Larry's just randomly there. Yeah. And with that, the court is adjourned. Until next case. <laughs> Until next guess. Christmas? What are you talking about? It's not Tra Christmas yet. Tradition. It's not Christmas yet. <laughs> <laughs> Next Halloween. It's okay. no use! Silver, get back in your shitty game. <laughs> it turns out that Frank saw it was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house. That day, when Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. saw it let him do let him in so, ugh, let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Saw grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. Okay. I said 232 to the district court defendant lobby number two. Oh, I still can't believe he won. Right, good job in there. Congratulations. Thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all, not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've been seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the chief looking this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. It's no, my life is over! Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Uh, Nick, don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Good, wait, no, <laughs> I mean, bad, 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 bad. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But, but my Cindy Wendy's gone, man. Gone forever. Whoa! Larry, she was a... Nah, never mind. Congratulations, Harry. See? Harry! <laughs> Typo. Harry? Harry! Good! Yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts, innocent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this ever. Let's celebrate dinner, movie, and my treat. Oh no, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Oh hey! Here, take this! It's a present! Present? For me? <laughs> My girlfriend died. Here, take this. I think you're pretty. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wasn't this the... Wait, 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 wait! Ow! <laughs> Hell! Wasn't this the evidence that... Actually, I made this clock for her! I made one for her and one for me! Do what you did. Really? You... you made this? Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Yo, Nick! Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And... and she just played me for a fool, man. Doesn't that make you want to just cry? <laughs> Larry... Are you so sure? Excuse me. Excuse me! <laughs> I thought... <laughs> I think that she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah, you don't get to sympathize with me, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right, right? Don't you accept something to show her your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? No. Huh? Oh, yeah, right. What the heck is she talking about? My badge. <laughs> 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 it would be funny if you did present it. I might do that just as a blooper. <laughs> Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. Huh? Where'd you get that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. The murder weapon. <laughs> she took it with her as when she we traveled. <laughs> she probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. <laughs> well, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks. Uh, I hope that made him feel a little bit better. No. <laughs> right. I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. 
We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right? Listen. Learn. Grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. Say, how about dinner on me? We'll drink a toast to innocent butts. Yeah! Oh, speaking of Harry. You were saying part of why you became a <laughs> lawyer really was because of the him. They did it five times, I'm sure it's not a typo. Yeah. What if they did it at first and then they're like, ah, let's just stay in. Stay with it. Man. Yeah. They're Japanese, they wouldn't do that. There's the people who translated are Japanese. Uh, that's true. Uh, yeah, part at least. Well, how do you know? You'll have to tell me more about it sometimes. Maybe over drink? Drinks? And also, and so my first trial came to a close. See, it says Larry right there. Larry, Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it sure is good to have friends. That's illegal. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay me unless you count the clock he gave me in. I didn't know it then. But that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. It's like I'm playing Dragon Ball Z. It's like we're playing that squid game. What? Yes, this is not Splatoon. No, the flash thing. Oh, oh yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> Ow, that actually hurt. And my promise to tell the chief about me and Mary would be one Stop. promise that I wouldn't be able to. God dang it! The end? Question mark. What is this? Five Nights at Freddy's? The question mark at the end? Spoiler alert! Mia dies. Spoiler alert! Fredbear did it.